My number is 161078, infantryman of the 4th Army. I joined the planetary forces when I was 20, to take on the first and only alien race that history can ever remember. Before then, my life was meaningless and dull. I was looking for a war, an enemy to fight, a mission to give sense to it all. So I enlisted. But I was immediately turned into a number, because that war was not my war. I thought that everything would end in a flash. Aliens seemed too inferior to us. They were weak, backward. They suffered from heat and from cold, and they constantly needed to drink, to eat, or to sleep. I couldn't take it anymore. I saw myself again in that disgusting life that I couldn't control, that was crushing me. I felt I was losing the only chance I had to escape. Then something happened. There was a huge explosion. The sky turned red and the air became unbreathable for us. We had underestimated our enemy. The world we used to know disappeared in a few moments. I lay unconscious for a long time. I don't know who saved me. I only know that when I woke up, I was wearing a gas mask. A mask that I was never going to take off. That was 10 years ago. Nobody really knows what we're fighting or why this was started. We've heard just about everything by now. Truth is, once you're here, it doesn't matter any longer. There are no good reasons to kill someone or to be killed.
especially if it's clear that you're not fighting for yourself, for your race or for your land, but for reasons that you'll never know. That's when you understand that you lived your whole life like a machine, always waiting for someone to tell you what to do, not to think about it by yourself and discover who you are. That's why, when the last survivors decided to desert the planet, I made my first real choice. I choose to stay. I saw our ships exploding in the sky, one by one, surrounded by the enemy fleets. I wonder if I'm the only one of my race left. Me alone, who has now become the stranger in this world that once was mine. Now it's theirs. Their ships cut through the sky night and day, while the troops hit every corner of the earth. They want to be sure there won't be any memory of us left. They'll succeed. Down deep, if I think about what I would have done with my life, I can't imagine anything important. But who knows how a life that counts really is. Maybe much less than I thought is enough. Maybe that little is not so little. Someone convinced me to believe the opposite, for his own good. Evidently, he was wrong too. Now, I want to believe that this act of mine, the vibration I'm putting out in the universe with my life, in some way that I can't imagine, will influence everything. For sure, this gesture of mine is a fact, just like their war. And even if everyone thought I were crazy, I would go on believing they were the crazy ones, because I no longer accept to be a machine. If what's possible is not enough, I try the impossible. So I write down these words, in a language that maybe nobody will understand, but finally I found what I was looking for so many years ago when I enlisted in this useless war between desperate beings. And to the enemy who kills me, I live my life as a gift. Let's maybe the last one of my species. Mm -hmm.